standing and dancing in a lacy corset in front of a bunch of strangers, knowing that the whole thing would be seen on the internet by a bunch more strangers is way out of my comfort zone. But it was also liberating as hell. Hi, my name is Allie. I'm 39 years old and I am a mom to a beautiful baby boy. These days, getting dressed up for pictures usually looks a little something like this. Being a mom is a lot of fun, especially right now. My son is about 17 months old now and he's at the point where everything he sees is the most interesting thing in the world. He makes me laugh until I cry and he gives the best snuggles. This stage also means I spend a lot of time on the floor with a very active toddler and not a lot of time gets dedicated to sleeping, grooming, or thinking about what I'm gonna wear. Blow drying my hair is a luxury and makeup is reserved for those rare occasions where we actually book a babysitter and make it out of the house. So when I was invited to participate in a video where I would be wearing some pieces from Fenty's size-inclusive lingerie collection, I was unsure. <laughs> to illustrate how far out of my comfort zone prancing around in skimpy lingerie would be, let me put this in perspective. My baby is over a year old and I'm still wearing maternity jeans to work, to run errands, and to go out on date nights with my husband. In the end, I decided to go for it because I felt like I wanted and needed to get back in touch with the woman that I was before my identity was wrapped up in being my son's mother. The day of the shoot started with me spending some quality time getting my hair and makeup done. Sitting in that chair and having someone put makeup on me and do my hair was like taking a spa vacation. I will say that while the false eyelashes looked amazing, they were really itchy and heavy on my eyelids, but it was worth it. And then it was time to get into the first look I would be wearing, a black lace teddy. I was nervous as hell. But thanks to makeup magic, some really lovely lighting, and the immense photography talent of Paolo Tresendi, I somehow was transformed into this. Standing in front of a camera crew, including a couple of guys I'd never met, was intimidating to say the least. This teddy was not the most comfortable thing to wear in the first place, but wearing it in front of people and cameras was making me sweat. I was directed to have some fun and sort of let go of my inhibitions and move around, which at first was awkward. But there was some Rihanna pumping through the speakers and I caught a glimpse of myself in the monitors and you know what? I looked pretty freaking good. You guys, I was really feeling myself. Here's the thing, standing and dancing in a lacy corset in front of a bunch of strangers, knowing that the whole thing would be seen on the internet by a bunch more strangers is way out of my comfort zone. But it was also liberating as hell. Once I shook off the metaphorical cobwebs, I was able to remember who I was in my fearless 20s and my confident early 30s. My outsides have changed a bit since then, but I'm still the same woman who was a karaoke superstar even though I can't carry a tune. And I'm still the same woman who traveled across the world alone for spontaneous romantic adventures. She's still there, and she's a better person and a better mom because of those experiences. So now that I was enjoying my newly found confidence, it was time to slip into my second look, a red bra and underwear. So this t-shirt bra from the Fenty collection was actually really comfortable, like I could sleep in it. Also, it was nice to wear a bra that actually fit well. In addition to my maternity jeans, I'm still wearing my old nursing bra on a daily basis. My breasts have changed size and shape so many times since pregnancy, birth, and breastfeeding, and I haven't had the time or energy to shop for a bra that fits my new body. So glamorous, right? Not really. This is what it actually looked like behind the scenes of that sexy glam shot. Also, I was actually in a lot of pain thanks to the fact that I actually pulled a muscle in my neck that morning blow drying my hair because apparently I'm old and brittle. But somehow, all of that sorcery turned into another amazing transformation. With my 40th birthday around the corner, it was really empowering to let go of some of my inhibitions and anxieties about becoming a mother and entering a whole new age bracket. I generally have a hard time looking at photos and videos of myself, but to be honest, I'm really proud of these photos. I know my body has changed a lot and will continue to do so, but I'm okay with it all. This experience has made me feel powerful, vibrant, and unlimited. Mama's gonna be just fine, y'all. Hey guys, we're Fairlight! Did you know it's Hispanic Heritage Month? No, believe For more Latino content, subscribe here!